In theoretical physics, the Udwadia Kalaba equation is a method for deriving the equations of motion of a constrained mechanical system. The equation was first described by Ferdows E. Udwadia and Robert E. Kalaba in 1992. The approach is based on Gauss's principle. The Udwadia Kalaba equation applies to a wide class of constraints, both holonomic constraints and nonholonomic ones, as long as they are linear with respect to the accelerations. The equation generalizes to constraint forces that do not obey d'Alembert's principle. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Background. The problem of finding a simple closed-form expression for mechanical systems that are subjected to equality constraints is a central issue in analytical dynamics. It remained so since the time it was first explicitly stated by Lagrange, and it has been worked on by numerous scientists and engineers for at least 200 years. The centrality of the problem stems from the fact that the difference between the motion of a set of particles subjected to forces and that of a system of particles is that in the latter the particles are cognizant of the motion of one another, and are therefore subjected to constraints that each particle poses on some or all of its neighbors. The standard method of handling this problem is through the use of Lagrange multipliers, first introduced by Lagrange. This approach however, is unsuitable when the number of degrees of freedom of a system becomes large, since the multipliers are required to be found usually through the solution of nonlinear sets of equations. Other approaches such as the Gibbs-Appel approach, and its variants, suffer from similar difficulties. There has therefore been a quest for obtaining an explicit equation that describes the motion of a constrained mechanical system that is subjected to equality constraints. In 1992, Udwadia and Kalaba published such an explicit equation, in a three-page paper. In their publications, the authors refer to the equation as the fundamental equation of constrained motion. This equation is nowadays called the udwadia kalaba UK equation. The udwadia kalaba equation has several advantages over the available Lagrangian approaches for describing the motion of mechanical systems, especially when dealing with nonlinear systems that have many degrees of freedom that is, large-scale mechanical systems. The UK equation is explicit, is simple and elegant, handles constraints that are holonomic and nonholonomic, Handles constraints that are nonlinear in position and in velocity, which go beyond the so-called Pfeffian constraints handled by the theory using Lagrange multipliers, and is computationally efficient and simple to implement. The Lagrangian view of analytical dynamics, motion of bodies subjected to forces, relies on the determination of the Lagrange multipliers to describe the motion of constrained mechanical systems. In contrast, Udwadia and Kalaba explain constrained motion without the notion of a Lagrange multiplier. The physical interpretation of the equation has been of importance in areas beyond theoretical physics, such as the control of highly nonlinear general dynamical systems. The central problem of constrained motion In the study of the dynamics of mechanical systems, the configuration of a given system S is, in general, completely described by n generalized coordinates so that its generalized coordinate n vector is given by q equals q 1 q 2 q n t Display style math bf q equals q underscore one q underscore two l dots q underscore n caret mathrm t, where t denotes matrix transpose. Using Newtonian or Lagrangian dynamics, the unconstrained equations of motion of the system S under study can be derived as a matrix equation. See matrix multiplication, where the dots represent derivatives with respect to time. Q i equals d q i d t display style dot q underscore i equals frac d q underscore i d t it is assumed that the initial conditions q 0 and q 0 display style dot math bf q 0 are known we call the system S unconstrained because Q zero display style dot math bf Q zero 
may be arbitrarily assigned. The n vector q denotes the total generalized force acted on the system by some external influence, it can be expressed as the sum of all the conservative forces as well as non conservative forces. The n by n matrix M is symmetric, and it can be positive definite M greater than zero display style math BF M greater than zero or semi positive definite M zero display style math BF M GEQ zero Typically, it is assumed that M is positive definite, however, it is not uncommon to derive the unconstrained equations of motion of the system S such that M is only semi-positive definite, i.e., the mass matrix may be singular it has no inverse matrix. Constraints We now assume that the unconstrained system S is subjected to a set of M consistent equality constraints given by A Q Q T Q equals B Q Q T Display style Math BF A Q dot Q T D D O T Math BF Q equals Math BF B Q dot Q T where A is a known M by N matrix of rank R and B is a known M vector. We note that this set of constraint equations encompass a very general variety of holonomic and non holonomic equality constraints. For example, holonomic constraints of the form Phi Q T equals zero display style var phi q t equals zero can be differentiated twice with respect to time while non holonomic constraints of the form psi q q t equals zero display style psi q dot q t equals zero can be differentiated once with respect to time to obtain the m by n matrix A and the m vector B. In short, constraints may be specified that are nonlinear functions of displacement and velocity explicitly dependent on time, and functionally dependent, as a consequence of subjecting these constraints to the unconstrained system S, an additional force is conceptualized to arise, namely, the force of constraint. Therefore, the constrained system SC becomes where QC, the constraint force, is the additional force needed to satisfy the imposed constraints. The central problem of constrained motion is now stated as follows. Given the unconstrained equations of motion of the system S, given the generalized displacement Q T and the generalized velocity Q T of the constrained system SC at time T, and Given the constraints in the form a q equals b display style math bf a d d o t q equals math bf b as stated above, find the equations of motion for the constrained system, the acceleration at time t, which is in accordance with the agreed upon principles of analytical dynamics. Equation of motion The solution to this central problem is given by the udwadia kalaba equation. When the matrix M is positive definite, the equation of motion of the constrained system SC, at each instant of time, is M Q equals Q plus M 1 2 A M minus one two plus B minus A M minus one Q Display style Math BF M D D O T Math BF Q equals Math BF Q plus Math BF M carrot one half left Math BF a Math BF M carrot minus one half right carrot plus Math BF B Math BF a Math BF M carrot minus one Math BF Q 
where the plus symbol denotes the pseudo inverse of the matrix a m minus 1 2 display style math bf a math bf m caret minus 1 half the force of constraint is thus given explicitly as q c equals m 1 2 a m minus 1 2 plus b minus a m minus 1 q Display style math bf q underscore c equals math bf m caret one half left math bf a math bf m caret minus one half right caret plus math bf b math bf a math bf m caret minus one math bf q. And since the matrix M is positive definite, the generalized acceleration of the constrained system S C is determined explicitly by q equals m minus 1 q plus m minus 1 2 a m minus 1 2 plus b minus a m minus 1 q Display style D D O T Math BF Q equals Math BF M carrot minus one Math BF Q plus Math BF M carrot minus one half left Math BF a Math BF M carrot minus one half right carrot plus Math BF B Math BF a Math BF M carrot minus one Math BF Q In the case that the matrix M is semi positive definite M zero Display style math bf m g e q zero. The above equation cannot be used directly because m may be singular. Furthermore, the generalized accelerations may not be unique unless the n plus m by n matrix m caret equals m a. Display style hat math bf m equals left begin array c math bf m math bf a end array right has full rank rank equals n but since the observed accelerations of mechanical systems in nature are always unique this rank condition is a necessary and sufficient condition for obtaining the uniquely defined generalized accelerations of the constrained system sc at each instant of time thus when m caret display style hat math bf m has full rank, the equations of motion of the constrained system SC at each instant of time are uniquely determined by 1 creating the auxiliary unconstrained system M A Q equals M plus A plus A Q equals Q plus A plus B equals Q B Display style Math BF M underscore Math BF a D D O T Math BF Q equals Math BF M plus Math BF a carrot plus Math BF a D D O T Math BF Q equals Math BF Q plus Math BF a carrot plus Math BF B equals Math BF Q underscore Math BF B and by 2 applying the fundamental equation of constrained motion to this auxiliary. Airy unconstrained system so that the auxiliary constrained equations of motion are explicitly given by m a q equals q b plus m a 1 2 a m a minus 1 2 plus b minus a m a minus 1 q b 
Display style Math BF M underscore Math BF a D D O T Math BF Q equals Math BF Q underscore Math BF B plus Math BF M underscore Math BF a carrot one half Math BF a Math BF M underscore Math BF a carrot minus one half carrot plus Math BF B Math BF a Math BF M underscore Math BF a carrot minus one Math BF Q underscore Math BF B Moreover, when the matrix M caret display style hat math bf M has full rank, the matrix M A display style math bf M underscore math bf A is always positive definite. This yields explicitly the generalized accelerations of the constrained system S C as Q equals M a minus one Q B plus M A minus one two A M A minus one two plus B minus A M a minus one Q B Display style D D O T Math BF Q equals Math BF M underscore Math BF a carrot minus one Math BF Q underscore Math BF B plus Math BF M underscore Math BF a carrot minus one half Math BF a Math BF M underscore Math BF a carrot minus one half carrot plus Math BF B Math BF a Math BF M underscore Math BF a carrot minus one Math BF Q underscore Math Math BF B. This equation is valid when the matrix M is either positive definite or positive semi-definite. Additionally, the force of constraint that causes the constrained system SC, a system that may have a singular mass matrix M, to satisfy the imposed constraints is explicitly given by Q C equals M A 1 2 A M A minus one two plus B minus A M A minus one Q B Display style Math BF Q underscore C equals Math BF M underscore Math BF a carrot one half Math BF a Math BF M underscore Math BF a carrot minus one half carrot plus Math BF B Math BF a Math BF M underscore Math BF a carrot minus one Math BF Q underscore Math BF B Topic Non-ideal constraints At any time during the motion we may consider perturbing the system by a virtual displacement delta r consistent with the constraints of the system. The displacement is allowed to be either reversible or irreversible. If the displacement is irreversible, then it performs virtual work. We may write the virtual work of the displacement as W C T equals C T Q Q T Delta R T Display style W underscore C T equals Math BF C carrot Mathem T Q dot Q T delta Math BF R T The vector C Q Q T Display style math bf c q dot q t describes the non-ideality of the virtual work and may be related, for example, to friction or drag forces. Such forces have velocity dependence. This is a generalized D'Alembert's principle, where the usual form of the principle has vanishing virtual work with c q q t equals zero. 
Display style math bf c q dot q t equals zero. The Udwadia Kalaba equation is modified by an additional non-ideal constraint term to m q equals q plus m one two a m minus one two plus b minus a m minus 1 q plus m 1 2 i minus a m minus 1 2 plus a m minus 1 2 m 1 2 C Display style Math BF M D D O T Math BF Q equals Math BF Q plus Math BF M carrot one half left Math BF a Math BF M carrot minus one half right carrot plus Math BF B Math BF a Math BF M carrot minus one Math BF Q plus Math BF M carrot one half left Math BF I left Math BF a Math BF M carrot minus one half right carrot plus Plus Math BF a Math BF M carrot minus one half right Math BF M carrot one half Math BF C Topic Examples Topic Inverse Kepler problem The method can solve the inverse Kepler problem of determining the force law that corresponds to the orbits that are conic sections. We take there to be no external forces not even gravity and instead constrain the particle motion to follow orbits of the form R equals EX plus L display style R equals epsilon X plus L where R equals x 2 plus y 2 display style r equals sqrt x caret 2 plus y caret 2 e display style epsilon is the eccentricity and l is the semi lattice rectum differentiating twice with respect to time and rearranging slightly gives a constraint x minus r e x plus y y equals minus x y minus y x 2 r 2 Display style x r epsilon d d o t x plus y d d o t y equals frac x dot y y dot x caret two r caret two. We assume the body has a simple constant mass. We also assume that angular momentum about the focus is conserved as m x y minus y x equals L display style m x dot y y dot x equals L with time derivative x y minus y x equals zero display style x d d o t y y d d o t x equals zero. We can combine these two constraints into the matrix equation x minus r e y y minus x x 
Y equals minus L two meters two R two O display style begin P matrix X R epsilon and Y Y and X end P matrix begin P matrix D D O T X D D O T Y end P matrix equals begin P matrix F R A C L carrot two M carrot two R carrot two zero end P matrix the constraint matrix has inverse X minus R E Y Y minus X minus one equals one L R X Y Y minus X minus R E display style begin P matrix X R epsilon and Y Y and X and P matrix carrot minus one equals F R A C one L R begin P matrix X and Y Y and X R epsilon and P matrix. The force of constraint is therefore the expected central inverse square law F C equals M A minus one B equals M L R X Y Y minus X minus R E minus L two meters two. R two O equals minus L two meters L R two cos theta sin theta display style math BF F underscore C equals M math BF a carrot minus one math BF B equals FRAC M L R begin P matrix X and Y Y and X R epsilon and P matrix begin P matrix FRAC L carrot two M carrot two R carrot two zero end P matrix equals FRAC L carrot two M L R Carrot two begin P matrix cos theta sin theta and P matrix. Topic Inclined plane with friction. Consider a small block of constant mass on an inclined plane at an angle alpha display style alpha above horizontal. The constraint that the block lie on the plane can be written as y equals x tan alpha. Display style y equals x tan alpha. After taking two time derivatives, we can put this into a standard constraint matrix equation form: minus tan alpha one x y equals zero. Display style begin p matrix tan alpha and one end p matrix begin p matrix d d o t x d d o t y end p matrix equals zero. The constraint matrix has pseudo inverse minus tan alpha 1 plus equals cos 2 alpha minus tan alpha 1 display style begin p matrix tan alpha and 1 end p matrix caret plus equals cos caret 2 alpha begin p matrix tan alpha 1 end p matrix we allow there to be sliding friction between the block and the inclined plane we parameterize this force by a standard coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force C equals minus mu mg cos alpha sgn y cos alpha sin alpha display style math bf C equals mu mg cos alpha operator name sgn dot y begin p matrix cos alpha sin alpha end p matrix whereas the force of gravity is reversible the force of friction is not. Therefore, the virtual work associated with a virtual displacement will depend on C. We may summarize the three forces external, ideal constraint, and non-ideal constraint as follows F E X T equals Q equals minus M G 0 Y Display style math bf f underscore x equals math bf q equals mg begin p matrix zero y end p matrix f c i equals minus a plus a q equals m g cos two alpha minus tan alpha 1 minus tan alpha 1 Zero y equals mg minus sin alpha cos alpha cos two alpha display style math bf f underscore c i equals math bf a caret plus math bf a math bf q equals mg cos caret two alpha begin p matrix tan alpha one end p matrix begin p matrix tan alpha and one end p matrix begin p matrix zero y end p matrix equals mg begin p matrix sin alpha Alpha cos alpha cos carrot two alpha end p matrix F C N I equals I minus A plus A C 
equals minus mu m g cos alpha s g n y one zero zero one minus cos two alpha minus tan alpha one minus tan Alpha one equals minus mu m g cos alpha s g n y cos two alpha sin alpha cos alpha. Display style math b f f underscore c ni equals math b f i math b f a caret plus math b f a math b f c equals mu m g cos alpha. Operator name s g n dot y left begin p matrix one and zero zero and one end p matrix cos caret two alpha begin p matrix tan alpha one end P matrix begin P matrix tan alpha and one end P matrix right equals mu m g cos alpha operator name S G N dot Y begin P matrix cos carrot two alpha sin alpha cos alpha end P matrix combining the above we find that the equations of motion are x y equals one m f e x T plus F C I plus F C N I equals minus G sin alpha plus mu cos alpha S G N Y cos alpha sin alpha display style begin p matrix d d o t x d d o t y end p matrix equals frac 1 m left math b f f underscore x plus math b f f underscore c i plus math b f f underscore c ni right equals g left sin alpha plus mu cos alpha operator name s g n dot y right begin p matrix cos alpha sin alpha end p matrix this is like a constant downward acceleration due to gravity with a slight modification. If the block is moving up the inclined plane, then the friction increases the downward acceleration. If the block is moving down the inclined plane, then the friction reduces the downward acceleration. See also Mass matrix